Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for another episode of FIFA 15 Players to Watch Out For. This is episode number 5, this is of course the series where I go through players who I think should be getting massive upgrades on the next game being FIFA 15 based on their performances in real life and also some of their cards and upgrades on FIFA 14 as well, like if they got various informs and or a team of the season of course. Um, I went through a lot of your suggestions from the last episode and some of those, were, well pretty much all of those will be in this episode. But first of all we've got this guy and this is the Serbian uh, right midfielder from Benfica, Lazar Markovic. Now this guy's speed is ridiculous. You can also see he's got three specialities uh, being the dribbler, speedster and acrobat I do believe. Look at that acceleration, 90 to 94, great sprint speed, agility and uh, also reactions as well as balance, ball control and dribbling unsurprisingly being good as well. With curve of 77 to 81, he's only 19 years of age, can play on both wings, there, right mid and left mid. As I mentioned he's from Serbia, playing in the Portuguese league for Benfica although he has recently signed for Liverpool, so you might not be able to get him in the first season, but as you can see, three-star week from four-star skills with a high attacking work rate. Looks like a very good player with a huge heap of potential on the next game. But here we've got Junior Molanda. Uh, this guy plays for Wolfsburg, although recently signed from Zultevar again, but that was during this season he moved from the Belgian team. Uh, so he should be fine to buy uh, straight away on the next FIFA. It shouldn't do the whole glitch if he's just recently signed. As you can see, absolutely monumental strength for his age. 88 to 92 with that strength attribute as well. Defensive midfielder from Wolfsburg, only 18 years of age from Belgium. Can play as a defensive mid, centre mid or centre back as well. Uh, as well as decent strength, he's got good aggression, balance interestingly and shot power too. So a very interesting player to play with. Probably hit the ball from long range as well. Uh, and then three star weak foot and two star skill moves there. The very versatile Belgian midfielder there, Junior Malanda. But now we've got Kasper Kusk. Now this guy is possibly the most underrated player in this in this um, in this chart. Now this guy, uh, the only reason I put this guy in, a he's young and actually looks quite promising over in the Danish league playing for Alberg. He's a right midfielder. Um, he actually got a team of the season, so clearly EA have also realised that he did well this season, and that would suggest he'll get a big boost next season. He's 21 years of age from Denmark, high attacking work rate there, left foot as well, so he can cut inside from the right hand side. Three star weak foot, three star skills with really good acceleration, sprint speed, and stamina, stamina even as well as decent agility and balance. So pretty speedy and also quite technically gifted player there from Denmark. Now next up is one of the suggestions of the century. This is Carlos Pena, a centre mid playing for Leon. I think this is over in the Mexican league. Now this guy's got really good acceleration, sprint speed, balance, stamina, strength, really good all-rounder and quite balanced midfielder as well. He's got decent passing, not amazing, but pretty good sh short passing and long passing as well. Enough to do the job. He's from Mexico, 23 years of age with high attacking and defensive work rates there, uh, which gives him the engine speciality and three-star, no, sorry, three-star skill moves and four-star weak foot. Now I never heard, I've never heard heard of that guy before, ever, and someone suggested him in the last video, he looks absolutely brilliant, hopefully we'll get an upgrade next season, he is Mexican, 23 years of age and can play as a centre mid, or an attacking mid, and next up we've got Dali Blind, another one of your suggestions, and another one with the engine attribute there, really good stamina and reactions, as well as pretty decent ball control, short passing, and also stand tackling, so quite balanced in a sense, he's got good defensive attributes and some good ones going forward, now this guy is actually very well known for playing at the World Cup, obviously setting up that wonder goal of Robin Van Persie's that diving header. I really hope EA give him a huge boost on crossing. This guy deserves at least 80 on crossing. Even more, really. 23 years of age, though, from the Netherlands, playing for Ajax currently over in the Eredivisie. He can play as a defensive mid, although primarily now I would say a left back with high attacking work rate, high defensive work rate, and three star weak foot and three star skill. So a very good player there from the Netherlands, there being Dali Bryn. Now, next up, this is Brit Asombolonga. Now, if anyone is even from. Well, if anyone here is watching and not from England, or doesn't watch the football league, you probably have absolutely no idea who this is and are wondering why I put, even put him in the chart. Well, A, he was one of your, you guys' suggestions, and B, he's actually had a really good season, 33 goals and 58 appearances uh, for Peterborough in the league in League One there. 20 years of age, from Congo, can play as a striker, right mid, medium attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, three-star weak foot and two-star skill with decent sprint speed and acceleration, but yeah, he's an underrated player, a bit of a risk maybe if you're going to sign him on the next FIFA, but looks very good. Uh, talking of well, sort of the contrast of a risk. This is Adnan Yanazai, the guy who you can pretty much depend on to have a ridiculous heap of potential. The left midfielder here from Manchester United, of course, Belgian slash Albanian slash English slash Turkish slash Kosovian. Uh, great acceleration, brilliant agility and balance, as well as dribbling for his age, which is, of course, 18 years of age, can play on both wings, as well as an attacking midfielder from Belgium. Uh, four star weak foot and three star skills. I think he probably deserves a little bit more in terms of skill moves. Not entirely sure that might be a little bit of an upgrade next season, but one player with a ridiculous amount of potential and should have have probably high 80s or 90 potential next time out. So next up we've got Will Hughes, another player actually who you might want to take a punt on. Uh, plays for Derby at the moment in the Championship, really good player for his age, 18 years of age, I've actually seen him play and he's actually a lot better than his stats on this game 
uh, sort of suggests. He currently plays for Derby, central midfielder there, pretty good acceleration, agility, uh, pretty good physical stats overall there as well as long passing and short passing, which is quite refreshing in a young player. 18 years of age though, from England, one of our bright stars of the future, where he's centre mid and a left mid, interesting that he can play as he's left footed there, medium attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, three star weak foot and three star skill moves. Now next up we've got a left back here called Dojo. Now this guy uh, on the game plays for Roma, although in real life he's just recently signed for Inter Milan. Uh, now he's got really good acceleration, agility and sprint speed here as well as good ball control and crossing. He did actually sign for Inter for quite a lot of money I do believe. I can't remember what it was but it was somewhere up in the region of 10 to 12 million I think. That is very good for a player of his age as you can see. 21 years of age so maybe not a teenage wonder kid but certainly someone with bags of potential and should have a good card and rating next season. Left footed uh, is a left back primarily from Brazil. High attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate. Two star weak foot and three star skill weak foot. Now finally we have got this guy. Another player who's recently moved. Unfortunately all the players I've been finding have recently moved because of their performances in real life. This is Graziano Pele the Italian currently playing for finals and I think the only player who's been in this chart to actually be a complete well attacker or a complete position uh, it's absolutely incredible stats to be honest with you not very pacey but really good strength there 87 to 91 great attacking position as well as well as finishing heading accuracy shot power and volley so this guy will be a heap of fun to play with the complete attacker as you can see as well as a poacher and uh, and and a uh, aerial threat sorry italian 28 years of age medium attacking work rate low defensive work rate there and i think four star weak foot and two star skills as well there a player not with a huge amount of pace or really you know natural skill but someone who can hold the ball up and score a heap of headers as well as volleys he's recently signed for southampton and i thought he will get a bit of a pace increase as well on the next game he's not just a header of the ball he's actually a little bit more than that and a decent bit of skill as well but slightly older than the rest of the people you've seen on this video but never Nevertheless, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of the players to watch out for. Leave a like if you did and comment if you enjoyed it that much. A subscription would really help me out and I'd really appreciate that as well. Don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comment section. You guys have been going absolutely ham with that all series long. You're absolute dons, bosses, just awesome people, all of you. Nevertheless, it's been a pleasure rounding with you guys today. Have an absolutely brilliant day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.